Today I'm going to be showing you guys a project I've been working on for a while. This is my H&R Topper 88 single shot break action 12 gauge shotgun. When I first found this thing for about 90 bucks on Backpage uh, in Pahrump, Nevada, uh, the guy had it. It had a broken trigger guard and it had the long Elmer Fudd barrel and the wood furniture. And uh, yeah, he was selling it uh, on Backpage for uh, I think it was like 90 bucks. So I bought it, I fixed the trigger guard, I ordered it online, and um, yeah, I put it back to, uh, back to working order. And then um, I quickly ordered the Choat Survivor buttstock and forend. If you don't know about these guys, Choat makes this um, polymer buttstock that you can replace the wood stocks. And it has a cavity in the back where you can put all kinds of cool, you know, survival gear in here or whatever. And also, there's a cavity inside the forend here. You can put stuff inside here as well. You just unscrew this back part right here, and you can put whatever you want in there. You can even put other adapters in here. Um, I have the X caliber adapters to shoot all the pistol calibers, and I also have the short lane adapters to shoot rimfire. But both of those adapter kits are too long to fit in here, so I'd have to order some three inch adapters to fit in here. Uh, maybe you're, or maybe even the five inch adapters will fit in here, but the seven and the eights will definitely not fit in here. I'm going to have a backpack anyways if um, I'm going to bug out or whatever. Um, I'm going to have a backpack anyways, so just throw those in there. And then I put a simple sling on here just so I can keep the shotgun on me at all times if I have to carry some packages, carry water, carry my kids, whatever, help people out. I can have my shotgun on me at all times. It's not leaning up at the, at the campsite or leaning up in my, in my car somewhere. I got it on me. So the whole point of this project was just to have fun, guys. Don't take it too serious. Yes, I have it set up as a survival shotgun, but at the end of the day, it's just for fun. Um, is it cool that I could use this as a last ditch, you know, um, option if shit were to hit the fan? Yeah, sure. I mean, it is a 12 gauge shotgun. That's pretty, pretty powerful. You know, you load slugs or double out buck on this thing, and uh, you can um, definitely defend yourself with if you had to. That's not my first option because it is a single shot, so it's pretty slow. But that one shot with um, eight rounds going down range all at once, it's still pretty effective, right? And then when you factor in the adapters, uh, you can really make this thing a precise shooter if you want to shoot a rabbit or a bird or a coyote or a squirrel, whatever. You can do that as well. So pretty cool. All right, so I got the Topper 88 with the Survivor buttstock and foreign on there. And if you guys watch my other video, this is the Kiapa X caliber system where you can um, use these adapters to shoot all kinds of different calibers from 380, uh, 9mm, 40 cal, 45 ACP, 357 Magnum, 44 Magnum, 410 bore, and 20 gauge. You can also shoot 38 special out of the 357 Magnum, and you can also shoot 44 special out of the 44 Magnum. So you got a lot of caliber options just in this one kit alone watch that video if you haven't seen my review of it but one of the things it doesn't have is rim fire so the guys at short lane said that they'd send me out these adapters for testing and uh, these are pretty nice because these are actually a little bit longer than those those are seven inch long rifled these are eight inch long rifled so you get a little bit more accuracy i would assume out of a longer barrel and uh, these ones allow me to shoot 22 long rifle 17 HMR and 22 Magnum or 22 WMR And if you don't know what um, 17 HMR stands for that's 17 Hornady Magnum rimfire and 22 WMR stands for 22 Winchester Magnum rimfire And if you've never seen them before Here's what they shoot. So here's the 22 Everybody knows about this Everyone's shot these I'm sure by now if you're a gun guy Everybody grew up shooting 22s you can carry thousands of these in your pocket. That's nice. That's why it's considered a survival round too, because you can carry thousands of rounds of ammo just in your cargo pockets. That's that's pretty good. So then you have the 22 Win Mag. That's pretty wicked. Look at that. So you're getting a lot more gunpowder behind that 22 caliber projectile. So they're advertising this thing flies downrange at 2,250 feet per second, and I'm going to test that on my Chrono. And then lastly, you got the 17 HMR or Hornady Magnum Rimfire. That is cool. Look at that. Basically looks like a little tiny uh, 5.56 round. 
And they're also advertising that this is flying down range at also 2,250 feet per second. So we'll test that as well on the chrono. There's one right there. So there's the 556. Five, and as you can see, it looks just like a shrunk down version of it. That's pretty wicked. Somebody was telling me um, the day they outlaw 556 or 223, everyone's going to start buying 17 HMR. <laughs> If you have a box of just random ammunition laying around, it's a box full of all kinds of different rounds that you might find, you know, uh, wherever. You find it someplace, somebody has this sitting in their garage and um, they sell it to you and you got a whole bunch of different types of ammunition. Or say in a survival situation, you just happen to have a box of random ammunition or someone sells you some or you, come, you trade for some. But uh, you have all this ammunition and you need a gun to shoot it out of. That's what this is. So that's a lot of ammunition to be shot out of one gun. Pretty cool. So let's go ahead and uh, start shooting this thing. All right, so first up is 22 long rifle. I still don't have my front sight mounted on here yet, so I'm just gonna shoot over the bore. It's at 50 yards, so hopefully I can still pull this off. Yeah, <laughs> see, just shoot right over the bore. Next up is 22 Magnum. <laughs> That's so cool. And then the last one is 17 HMR. That's that little wicked round right there. thing is flying down range that is cool all right 22 long rifle one thousand sixty six feet per second twenty two wind mag one thousand nine hundred and nine feet per second that's basically double the speed pretty good and then lastly 17 HMR two thousand two hundred and sixty two feet per second whoo that thing is zipping down range so as you can see, these uh, adapters by Short Lane are pretty awesome. I was able to hit an 18-inch target at, at 50 yards, even without sights, just shooting over the bore. Of course, i got to put sights on this thing if I want to start uh, shooting animals with it. But, yeah, they work great. The uh, 22 long rifle was shooting at just over 1,000 feet per second. So the 22 Magnum and the 17 HMR... Uh, they didn't perform as as fast as the box advertised, and that's because this is only an 8-inch barrel. Uh, you guys probably already know this. Uh, when you have a shorter barrel, you lose velocity. When you have a longer barrel, like 16, 18, 20, uh, the velocity goes way up. And that's what this ammunition is designed for. So if you want 2,250 feet per second, you're going to have to use a 16-inch or 18-inch barrel. Um, they're pretty much drastically reduced as far as velocity with these 8-inch barrels. But still, you know, uh, 22 Magnum was still flying at, what, 1,900 feet per second? That's pretty good. And then the 17 HMR, I mean, that was um, 2,100 feet per second uh, around there. That's, that's pretty awesome. So you get good performance still out of these uh, little caliber adapters. All right, guys, if you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button to support my channel. I really appreciate it. It helps me out a lot. And leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about the Topper 88 break action single shot shotgun with the Choate Survival Stock and the short lane adapters. Thanks a lot, guys. Stay safe.